Hi, I'm Big Daddy. On this episode of Killing, Chilling, and Grilling, we went out, hunted, and successfully caught a jackfruit. The ones that are right turn a yellowish color. See these black spots on the side? They'll get more distinct. This is one of the biggest fruits in the fruit family. Here's your average coconut in comparison to the jackfruit. And we're going to let this ripen up for a couple of days. Then I'm going to go ahead and attack it with a really big knife. And you'll see what's on the inside. That sap there, don't get any of that on you. If it gets in your wife's car, she's going to be really mad. So, see you in a few. back it's been about four or five days now I've had the jackfruit sitting out in the yard getting ripe or ripening so went from that pretty bright color to this yellow dingy kind of gray color it has a unique smell to it and everything about it this is some like real bear grills next level shit tells you that you probably shouldn't eat this I mean, it's one of the biggest fruits in the fruit family this one right now weighs 26 pounds it has spikes on the outside of it it smells like a combination of onions and razzo i guess is what you could say and looks like a dinosaur's ball bag uh, it comes out when you first cut it it's alien you cut the top of it the juice that comes out of it is white and sticky and it resembles fix a flat and it sticks to everything. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna carve it open, we're gonna take a big knife and see what the hell's inside. So, here we are, what we've done is we, we basically removed the core. It's not as sticky as I thought it was. We've got a bunch of seeds over here. We're removing the seeds from the inside of the, the fruit itself. So this is half of a jackfruit. A whole lot of stuff in it. This is the actual portion that you're looking at. It's a seed pod. It has the seed on the inside. You squeeze the seed, it comes out. You remove that little layer right there. Just pinch her off, and the rest goes in here. So we've only got half of a jackfruit done. We've got like a gallon of jackfruit and a gallon of seeds and a big mess. My wife is pissed. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? A weird pineapple. A weird pineapple? I don't know how long. How's a pineapple taste to it? You get all this green stuff off the outside. Seeds are in the middle, it's like an alien coming right out. You pop those out, you put them in there, they're edible also. Weird pineapple, probably best. Alright, so out of that 26 pounds of jackfruit that we cut open, we probably got about 5 pounds of seeds. Now I said you can boil these up for about 15 minutes cut them in half and then fry them and it's like potatoes. You'll see that on another video. And this is what we got. Two bags of jackfruit fruit. So it does taste interesting if you've never tasted it before. I mean, uh, it's, it's not a taste that anybody has, anybody really tastes. It's not normal here. Biggest fruit on the planet has the ability to grow to 100 pounds, I think the Guinness record is 150. It's not indigenous to the United States. Uh, I guess it's uh, the island, South America, and China. And uh, if you find a tree, you know, test drive it out. You find one of the fruits, bam, now you know. You gotta attack it with life. <laughs> because it takes a little while, but I think it's well worth the, well worth the trip. I'm gonna throw some in a shake. All right, so, let's talk about Jack. Found some unique shit that goes along with the fine art of preparing jackfruit. It is 
tougher the mofo, if you get a big one, you will be cleaning it for a while. Kind of like skinning game, if you will. You gotta get in there, get messy, get your fingers. So my suggestion is find a shirt you don't like, <laughs> get a knife that you're not really attached to because you'll be cleaning that thing for a while. Simple Green works really good taking all the gunk off the, uh, off the knife. The, the sap is still stickier than fix a flat. Be ready to get some uh, industrial strength, some kind of gum remover. This is some of the stuff that we use to get, uh, correction, I used to get out of the carpet, get the white sticky stuff out of the carpet, so my wife would like me again. So FYI, just in case, back of the truck, not inside your vehicle that has carpet on it. Other than that, it tastes like juicy fruit or a mix between pineapple and banana. Um, I'm gonna put some in a breakfast shake and we're gonna see how that works out for us.